नमस्ते एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टच अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द गिफ्ट ऑफ मैरिज सो बेसिकली व्हाट हैपेंस इन एस्ट्रोलॉजी वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी हिंदू एस्ट्रोलॉजी व्हाट यू से इट दैट व्हेन वी डू समथिंग सी इट इज कॉज एन इफेक्ट राइट द कर्मा कर्म रेदर इट इज कॉज एन इफेक्ट you do something there is a result for that right because you are committing a karma you are doing a karma for every rashi when you get married marriage is a big karma there are 16 samskaras in vedic jyotish simanto nayana punjavan vivah etc etc 16 samskaras are there and these are the major karmas so of course when you get married which is a major karma there are things which get activated right because it is cause and effect now what gets activated with your marriage is what i am going to deal with in this video so basically i will tell you the concept the concept is simple check the another rashi of the seventh lord where the another rashi is falling that house gets activated now added to this there can be the case that there can be the case that there is a planet in that house that planet signifies something that planet is also lord of a house those things also gets activated now because it is based on the personal horoscope i am not dealing that giving you an outline of it so first of all talk of aries ascendant in the case of aries ascendant seventh house will be libra the another rashi of the seventh lord venus will fall in the second house so what happens gain of money gain of social contact interest in studies person being fortunate change in eating habits etc happen after marriage A special result is first of all gain an increase of family so of course you will get married you will produce a child increase of family will happen but aries ascendant when they get married after their marriage many other family members also get married so you know another increase in family rather than normal supposed increase in family right jyotish combinations have to be understood this way this is not the case that someone will say sir i have said increase in marriage or i will get married i will get a wife so increase in family have automatically happened this is not the way to think right now if there are planets they will be affecting it also secondarily i was talking of food so what happens that this food habits will change because it is falling in the second house now as per bhagavad gita itself food is of three categories satvik rajasik tamasik right so if one is consuming more of a tamasic food they will have a tamasic nature consuming more of a rajasic food they will have a rajasic nature consuming more of a satvic food they will have a satvic nature right very hot very spicy is a rajasic food non vegetarian intoxicated kept for long things which are eaten after you know sadne ke baad jinko khaya jata after being rotten such as alcohol etc is a tamasic food whereas fruits vegetable normally cooked food and that which is neither too hot nor too cold is a satvic food right this happens now taurus ascendant seventh house will be scorpio lorded by mars another rashi lorded by mars will go into the 12th house that will be aries now because it is the 12th house a new inspiration in life right 12th house i always say 12th house is the house of kul uddhar if the 12th house is very good if the 12th lord is positively connected to lagna this person is kul uddharak he will like take his family to new heights right so rich he will make a normal middle class family into a rich family etc in the same manner when the 12th house is afflicted when the 12th lord is negatively connected to the ascendant this is kulanashak he destroys his lineage etc etc so when taurus ascendant people get married their role of kul uddharak gets increased point 1 they have new aim in life new thinking in life new vistas in the matters of professions etc open up now because 12th house is the house of expenditure there is a great shuffle that happens in the matter of expenditure for them also 12th house indicates astrology and other allied sciences so interest in spirituality interest in paravidya such as astrology spirituality etc will increase and in addition to that self exploration which is a trait of the 12th house that also happens after marriage to taurus ascendant people now because it is happening after marriage see spouse is having a different nature character behavior etc 
So inspired by the nature, character and behavior of the spouse, these things get started in your life. For example, for Aries Ascendant, I told you gain of money. This will happen when Aries Ascendant people after getting married are listening to their spouse. In the matter of Taurus Ascendant, because it is the 12th house, if they take their financial decisions after consulting the spouse, there will be subtle decrease in useless expenditure, money will be used in a better way. This is how this should be taken. Next comes the Gemini Ascendant. Seventh house will be Sagittarius. The Lord of Sagittarius, Jupiter will be the Lord of the 10th house also. Increase in name, fame, status, recognition, respect in society will happen. New avenues in professional life will open up. Professional situation will become better. Promotions etc. will come to pass. But along with this, eye diseases are also seen. After marriage, Germany people are very much probable to take a loan. Right? They will be into taking loans etc. This is what will happen because it is the 10th house for Gemini ascendant people and uh, this Pisces ascendant people, sorry, Sagittarius ascendant. I, I will come to that. Be for Gemini ascendant people, because the seventh lord is also the lord of the 10th house, a great karma is started in life which impacts the life to a very, very great extent. Now comes the elephant in the room, Cancer ascendant. Seventh house is Capricorn. The Lord that is Saturn is also the Lord of the eighth house. See, now negative manifestation and positive manifestation of eighth house both can happen. I am taking a positive manifestation here. But if there are malefics situated in the eighth house, another sign of the seventh Lord, malefic manifestations will be there, which will be exactly opposite to what I am saying. So now because it is the 8th house, the another Rashi of the 7th Lord for Cancer Ascendant. What happens? Transformation happens in life. Point one. Secondarily, 8th house indicate misfortune. So Cancer people who were misfortunate under struggle before marriage will come out to be fortunate. Luck will be supporting them. Other than that, 8th house also indicate longevity and longevity is a result of happy life. Right. So happiness in life, not only of Cancer people, but all of their family members tend to increase after marriage longevity becomes good they become fortunate and not only that unexpected money right income from new sources also happen and because eighth house is the house of retirement cancer ascendant people after marriage their spouse becomes a great support and like retired people live without tension without worry they also start living without tension without worry with the help of spouse Coming to the Leo Ascendant, the seventh house is Aquarius, Saturn. Saturn is also the Lord of the sixth house. Sixth house is an Upachaya. So growth happens in life. Growth in the matters of finances, new sources of income, growth in the matter of promotion, growth in the matter of profession, promotion, etc. tends to happen. Because sixth house also indicate loans. They are very much, they will take loans. And because of taking loans, they will be able to achieve those things which they have not been able to achieve before or they cannot think of before. Sixth house also indicates servants. So increase of servants. On the other hand, a Raj Yoga type of life where you are having that amount of money or having such a big home where you will need servants to manage it will come to pass for Leo Ascendant. Next will be Virgo Ascendant where the seventh Lord will be the Lord of the fourth house and Lord of the seventh house so for Virgo ascendant people what will happen happiness satisfaction contentment will come after marriage gain of vehicle gain of property will come after marriage the life will be tension free A spouse will help them relieve tensions in life and live tension free next will come the Libra ascendant seventh house will be Aries and the seventh Lord will be the Lord of the second house so gain of money Increase of family, other family members getting married or other family members having a child will come to pass. Gain of money will be there. Interest in Jyotish will be there. Accumulation of new skills, getting new, getting new education will come to pass for Libra ascendant people. Next comes the Scorpio. The seventh Lord Mars is also the Lord of, sorry, next comes Scorpio. 
seventh lord is venus venus is also the lord of the 12th house so in this particular scenario finances will be well managed person will have new directions in life new hopes in life self realization self discovery will happen finances will be better managed there will be lot of foreign travels right and gain of money is because 12th house indicates expenditure loss of expenditure gain of money it also indicates so gain of money is also having for happening for scorpio ascendant next comes the sagittarius ascendant in the case of sagittarius ascendant 7th house is gemini the 10th house is virgo for sagittarius ascendant also new direction in life come to pass new direction in life is there after marriage name fame status recognition promotion getting respected being fortunate is the result for is the result for sagittarius ascendant after getting married after sagittarius comes capricorn elephant in the room now capricorn ascendant seventh house is cancer now this moon is not lord of any other house so what will you do you will take the exaltation sign of moon that is taurus capricorn ascendant taurus will be the fifth house new direction in life your ideas your plannings being carried out the way you wanted it new education new position in society because fifth house indicate promotions also so new position in life venturing into new studies your ideas coming to pass making good investments and specifically fifth house is the house of punya karma so result of punya karma coming which translates to person being more fortunate excelling in life will come to pass for capricorn ascendant now for aquarius ascendant people seventh house will be leo once again sun is the only lord of leo what you will do in this case you will take the exaltation sign of sun that is aries falling in the third house so travels increase of valor etc start of business because third house according to me also indicates business we will come to pass for aquarius ascendant other than this increase in dharma person being more spiritual visiting temples doing puja pleasing gods and brahmins will be the result for aquarius ascendant people not only that because third house is the house of tension also according to me aquarius ascendant people after getting married get free of tensions that means their spouse helps them in day to day life they can put their 50% of responsibility to their spouse is also who takes care of them very well making them tension free next comes the pisces ascendant where the seventh lord mercury is also the lord of the third house so happiness contentment gain of vehicle purchasing new property mental satisfaction solace traveling enjoying mental peace is the result for pisces ascendant people right i have explained you the technique for newbies for beginners for all the ascendants but keep it in mind that say for libra ascendant seventh house lord is also the lord of the second house now you say the second house is having saturn now the saturn is the lord of the fourth house the saturn is the lord of the fifth house so because it is the lord of the fourth house and it is lord of the fifth house gain of property gain of vehicle will happen <coughs> because it is the lord of the fifth house new investments your ideas working the way it should work and because fifth house indicates mind so all the desires of your minds getting fulfilled shall also be the result this will happen when the saturn is positive if the saturn is negative then what will happen the results of the fourth and the fifth house will negatively manifest and because it is the negative planet in scorpio the second house a bad results related to finances family etc will also come to pass this is how it should be understood this is the karma for marriage for all the 12 ascendants right thank you for watching the video